Hello there gamers, welcome back to another Asphalt video. I'm going to be very busy next week, so I wanted to just make a video that I can upload so you guys have something to watch while I am gone, and I thought it would be cool to compile a list of some cars that I would love to see from Asphalt 8 in Asphalt 9. Now, before I get to the list and some explanation, I wanna mention a couple of things. Firstly, I would love it if you guys followed me on Instagram. I'm trying to master some car photography, so I'd love your guys' feedback. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think of some photos that I've taken on Instagram. And of course, you can also follow me on Twitter and join the Discord links to that will be in the description and keep out for a possible community post here on YouTube and yeah I'm not gonna say much but we'll see so we've seen a bit of a trend recently in Asphalt 9 where we've gotten some returning cars from Asphalt 8 and that includes things like the Kepler Motion the Peugeot SR1 and of course a bunch of other different cars and so today I wanted to go through and think about what would I love to see come from Asphalt 8 to Asphalt 9 and it's not some of the big cars that everyone would think of I wanted to get some of the niche cars some of the cars that really define the Asphalt franchise as well and I would love to see them in Asphalt 9 now there is one bonus car but that's a bit of a different story and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So the first car we have is the Nissan Juke Nismo and I know a bunch of people are already in the comment section yelling at me about how ugly this car is and how useless it would be in Asphalt 9 and I understand. Now the Juke has a bit of a soft spot in my heart. I honestly think it looks kind of neat. Yeah, it's not traditionally beautiful, but it's just so different compared to everything else. I also love the proportions of this car, but it's also a long running asphalt legend. It was released in Asphalt 7 as part of a special promo with Nissan. And of course the Juke Nismo, as you can see, is also in Asphalt 8. Now I wouldn't expect this to be a very powerful or useful car, but I think it's one of those cars that makes Asphalt really cool because of its niche purpose. And Asphalt is one of those games where it adds a lot of cars that nobody really thought to add to other racing games. So I think this would fit right in with the Asphalt ethos of cars in their games. Next up with the theme that a lot of really unique special cars are added to Asphalt games that nobody else really seems to think of when it comes to cars in racing games and that is the Lamborghini Estoque. Now this is a really interesting car. It was an old Lamborghini concept car developed back around 2010 or so. It's made its first appearance in the Asphalt franchise in Asphalt 6. So this is a long running car in the Asphalt franchise, but what you're looking at is a concept Lamborghini sedan, something that I don't think many people would be saying. However, eventually we did, of course, get the Urus, which is the Lamborghini SUV. So again, running with the theme of very unique, quirky cars being added to Asphalt games, this is certainly one of them. The performance in Asphalt 6 was really amazing. I was not expecting a Lamborghini sedan to go as quickly as it did, and I was super excited to see its return to Asphalt 8. For whatever weird reason, maybe the proportions are actually correct in Asphalt 8 and it was just weird in Asphalt 6 or vice versa, but it seems very, very small for a sedan in Asphalt 8. So let me know what you guys think. Is the proportions just incorrect? Either way, I really love the way that Lamborghini designed a sedan and hopefully one day we get to see a Lamborghini Estoque in real life. Next up, we have something that isn't really a road production car. This is the legendary Ferrari 330p4. Now again, some types of cars just aren't usually added to normal racing games. This is definitely one of them. You'll never see this type of car in a Need for Speed game, although I believe Forza has a Ferrari 330. Anyway, I absolutely love this car. The performance was amazing up until they nerfed the heck out of it, along with a bunch of other cars in one of the most recent updates. But for a really long time, this was one of the best A-class cars in Asphalt 8. And of course, it has some legendary racing history in real life. I also think this is one of the coolest looking race cars ever designed. We've recently gotten some really cool race cars in Asphalt 9, including the recent XJR9 from Jaguar. That car looks amazing. And so I think the Ferrari 330 P4 would actually fit and make a lot of sense in Asphalt 9 as a potential Grand Prix car. So let me know your thoughts about that 
and some other race cars you would like to see in Asphalt 9. Next up, we have another long running legendary car in the Asphalt franchise, the DS Servolt. Now in Asphalt 6, this was the Citroen Servolt and it was one of the coolest looking cars in that game in my opinion. I absolutely love the futuristic design of this car and it was really awesome to see a return in Asphalt 8 where it went from being a really solid B-class car to now I believe it's just a generic D-class car. But either way, one of the longest running cars in Asphalt, like I said, all the way back since Asphalt 6. And honestly, I absolutely love the proportions of this car. I think this is one of the most underrated designs in the history of the automobile. I don't know, there's just something about the car's wheelbase, the way that the wing and the back lines up with the rear of the car, and it all just sort of makes sense, which is something that I will say about one of the other cars in this list as well. But either way, I think this would be an awesome car in Asphalt 9. Could be a really good D-class car or a very good C-class car. Either way, I think it's another one of those cars that would be legendary. And again, one of those cars from Asphalt 6 that I think just made a really good impact on the franchise. And last up for the official list, although like I said, I do have a bonus car at the end of the video, is the Roof CTR3. And I'm sort of lumping this together with all of the Roof cars in general because I absolutely miss the Roof brand in Asphalt. It was one of those brands that made Asphalt unique and you may not understand why the Roof brand was actually in the game at all in the first place and that's because for a very long time, I believe over a decade, the only racing game franchise that could add Porsches to their game was Need for Speed. Electronic Arts, the publisher of Need for Speed, had exclusive rights to Porsche in their racing game. So that's why for a very long time, we never had any Porsches in Asphalt. And to substitute that, Asphalt, of course, added roofs to the game, which were sort of modified Porsches, but they're actually their own manufacturer in Germany, which is really cool. And ever since the Asphalt franchise got the Porsche license, we haven't seen any roof vehicles. And I think that's a real shame because I love the design of roof vehicles. I think they take the classic Porsche design ethos and elevate it to the next level, especially the CTR series. I absolutely love what they do with the back end of the 911. I think it makes it a completely different car. Roof cars were also known for their insane performance, of course, going well above and beyond what a traditional 911 would be capable of. And so it's a real shame, in my opinion, that we haven't had a roof car in Asphalt 9. And to my knowledge, there isn't any licensing reason why this shouldn't be the case. It's pretty obvious that a Porsche vehicle would be more popular compared to a Roof vehicle, but I think the uniqueness that Roof adds to the Asphalt franchise is sorely lacking in Asphalt 9. So that is my top five cars I would love to see from Asphalt 8 added to Asphalt 9. And I saved one last car because I knew that going into this video, I had to keep in mind some licensing stuff. If you've known the Asphalt 8 and Asphalt 9 relationship for a while, you know that there are no Audis in Asphalt 9, and that's because of an unfortunate licensing agreement thing between Asphalt and Audi. So as a result, we've had no Audi cars in Asphalt 9. Now, I really hope that this can be resolved soon because of course the bonus car on this list is the Audi TT Mark II. And well, it's honestly because I absolutely love this car. It's my favorite car of all time. And as a personal thing, I actually own one of these cars in real life in black. It's not the TTS, it's the normal TT, but honestly, any form of Audi TT in Asphalt 9 would be a dream come true. And I've said this for a really long time now, but Gameloft, if you ever manage to get a TT into Asphalt, I am definitely draining my entire iTunes balance on that car. So. Now, maybe a bit more of an incentive to try and work out some licensing agreements there. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun little video about my top five favorite cars in Asphalt 8 that should be added to Asphalt 9. Hopefully all of those licensing agreements I kept in mind because I think most of these are realistic. And like I said, we've seen a lot of Asphalt 8 cars being added to Asphalt 9 recently. Of course, I definitely want to hear your thoughts about some of the cars you would like to see from Asphalt 8 added into Asphalt 9. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later.